Hey guys, my name is Eric Worrell, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a brief review video of Mac Keeper versus Clean My Mac X. So I'm making this in 2018. Clean My Mac X is the newest version of Clean My Mac, and I can kind of pull it on the screen more. You can see that you know pretty much everything is on here, though I wanted to be able to show both of these side by side the best I could. Um, and as far as the services and in comparison, if you're comparing them just on what they do, they're very similar. Um, the one thing I will say is uh, the support is better on MacKeeper. You can see this uh, string of chat that I've had with a MacKeep, uh, MacKeeper Apple certified support professional, and they have a phone number you can call. You don't have those options with Clean My Mac X, um, and a couple other little things that you do have with MacKeeper that you don't have with Clean My Mac X. Uh, with MacKeeper, you have Private Connect, where you can actually connect into a VPN um, using their service. Uh, this is something that you can do separately. You can set up a VPN and you can get them for as cheap as like $3 a month if you want to do that on your own. Uh, they also have um, a Track My Mac feature where you can use your phone to track where your MacBook is. So if your MacBook was stolen, it can take a photo, you can see where it is. You can limit the time amount on it uh, if your uh, kids are using this, so you can limit how much you can actually use it. So there are some added features. Um, and then I also found that the login items was easier to use on this. So if your um, MacBook opens and there's like all these uh, different things like iTunes maybe opening automatically and you don't want it to open, you can go in here and tell it, hey, don't open this, uh, just uh, remove selected items. But besides that, I've found that the Clean My Mac option is pretty comparable with everything else as far as you know, just doing a smart scan and then you can scan the system just like you would find and fix on MacKeeper. They're kind of the same thing. So uh, this one goes a little bit more specific into the cleanup because it's photo junk, iTunes junk, mail attachments, which I didn't see anything about mail attachments in MacKeeper. Um, and it has the malware removal and privacy as well. So the, uh, the main difference between these two then comes down to price. So let's take a look at the pricing options when you're comparing MacKeeper and Clean My Mac X. So here we're looking at MacKeeper's pricing and it's actually the same. All it is is this is just different amounts of contract length. So if you're looking at a one month basic plan, it's $14.95 a month. And then the cheapest it gets is if you commit to two years, it's $4.95 a month. Now the reason it's monthly is because you can't get a VPN for free monthly. And they also have the customer support. So they're paying people to you know, have the customer support that we saw on the um, right hand side of the app. Uh, if we go back to here, you can see that right here. And then they're also paying for what we call the private connect, which is the VPN. Um, but again, if you if a VPN is important to you, you can set up a VPN separately and use Clean My Mac. Uh, me personally, I don't love subscription models. About the only thing that I have a subscription to is Netflix and maybe internet and a few other minor things. Um, I prefer things where you can pay up front uh, for them. So why don't we take a look at Clean My Mac X pricing? So Clean My Mac works in two ways. You can do the annual subscription, which is $40 per year, or you can do the one-time purchase where you have the valid for one Mac uh, for life for $89.95. So when you're breaking that down compared to the pricing for MacKeeper, the one-year uh, plan here is $8 a month. So you're looking at about $96 for the one-year plan, $95.40 actually it says right there. So the one-year plan here is $39.95. So um, you're looking again, $95.40 compared to $39.95. Uh, so more than half um, or less than half the price of uh, MacKeeper is what Clean My Mac X is. Now they do have different pricing depending on what you're doing here. So you can get licenses for five Macs. I only have one Mac in my house, so these are the two that apply. Of course, if this is something that you plan on having for more than a couple of years, uh, the one-time purchase makes the most sense. So if you were to compare these and let's say you ended up having this service for two years, you're gonna end up paying $118 or you can have this one for life for $89.95. Uh, so, I tend to lean towards Clean My Mac, and if there was one thing that kind of put me on the fence between these two services, it's the fact that the purpose of the service is to keep your computer running well and clean and making sure it's secure. And what I found actually after making my last review video on MacKeeper is that there were 13 million MacKeeper users whose information was exposed. So this was back a few years ago, 
but to me that says that they did have an issue with security on their own service and they kind of you know tell tell you that the service is secure and you're going to make your macbook secure and at the same time they're having a security breach of 13 million users so if that's not enough you can save a little bit of money by going towards clean my mac and you can also uh, be more assured that they haven't had any issues with any kind of security breaches so if it was up to me, I would recommend uh, MacPaw over the two. And then if you, with the extra savings, if you want, you can set up a VPN for yourself just to make sure that your browsing is secure. Uh, and that's pretty easy to do too, from my understanding. I've never personally done it. Uh, the one thing I will say too, just uh, before we head out here, is I like the little uh, drop down option here for Clean My Mac better than the Mac Keeper one. So I can see really quick where my memory is at, battery, uh, CPU usage, uh, my network, trash, uh, and then memory as well uh, for RAM. And then compare that to uh, Mac Keeper's little drop down. It's really just scan antivirus and lets you know if your VPN is on or not. One of the things I was having trouble with is I was playing with the VPN and sometimes I was having trouble accessing normal sites that I access. So uh, I'm not quite in love with the VPN product either on Mac Keeper. So uh, yeah, if I do uh, steer you in a direction, I go towards clean my Mac and as always, I do have a link in the description below and the pinned comment. Uh, feel free to use my link. I will make a commission from that, but I appreciate your support. And if you uh, feel like you learned something from this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. All right. Good luck cleaning up your Macintosh. And uh, hopefully it's running smoother quickly by using one of these services. All right. Take care.